Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ronald, I'm from 360 Creators. I offer training in 3D Vista. Um, and in this tutorial, uh, what I'm going to talk about are buttons in 3D Vista. So, you might have been using one of the templates in 3D Vista, the left side menu. And um, one of the things that you see over here is this button and if mm, how this is set up. So, for example, when you edit the styles of this button, you see that uh, in this template they use the icon button. And, and there's not a lot of flexibility of icon buttons. There's much more flexibility with the buttons. And now if I want to change the color uh, from the rollover effect, I need to look up this icon where this is placed. Uh, then I need to open this in the image editor. Then I need to change the color. Then I need to save the icon. Then I need to import it again in 3D Vista. And all of that is quite a bit of work just to change the color of a hover effect, right? So I would like to show you a more easy way to do this. So over here, I've got a different button. And look at how this is set up. So this is used with the button instead of the icon button. Um, I'm using here an icon, which I got from remixicon.com, a free library for commercially uh, used icons. Uh, I usually download the icons in 120 uh, pixels. Uh, and here I got the white one. And um, when I'm placing in such an icon, then I can set the size over here. Usually for some strange reason, this is set to zero pixels by zero pixels. So you need to change this yourself to make it visible in the first place. Um, and set this to a percentage and say something like 60 by 60 or 100 by 100, depending on how you like to have it. Now, as you can see, um, right now I have the flexibility to change how big the icon should be. If it should be like this, if it should be 60 by 60, if it should be maybe 30 by 30, depending how small you want it, right? So you can play around now with the numbers, which is a really useful thing to be able to make those changes within 3D Vista itself instead of in the image editing software. Um, and the same applies to, for example, the border. So um, if you do not have a radius, it all shows things in a square, right? Uh, and you can add a little bit of radius, and then it has these rounded corners. But if you want a circled icon, you can just set the radius to 99999. Hit tap to apply, and then you'll see that it's a circle. Um, and the same with, for example, the border. So if you want to add a border, a little bit more thick, thin, you can just change that. Um, and once you've set up these type of things over here, you can change the color. So if you want a green, you can change that. So without opening up Photoshop or Affinity uh, or Photo P. So you can now just change it over here. Same with the rollover effect. If you want to change the rollover effect, you can just change the color if you like. Uh, or add, let's see what. In this case, for some reason, this is a little bit confusing with 3D Vista. You cannot add uh, the radius anymore. So here you have the border options to set, uh, for example, uh, this four pixel borderline. When you go to the rollover, this option suddenly disappears. This is really things that are sometimes a bit unfortunate with 3D Vista. Um, but yeah, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, if it did, uh, please give the video a like. Uh, and if you're not subscribed yet, please do. And um, if you need any 3D Vista training, uh, you can book an hour through my site, 360creators.com. Uh, I wish you guys a lovely day. And uh, yeah, all right. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.